Hello you Wilson Faces and today I'm going to be reacting to the COD Mobile official trailer. I did the same thing when PUBG Mobile official trailer came out and let's get into it. So just, <laughs> I said let's get into it. Before we start, I'm gonna not, I'm not going to be doing any editing. I'm just going to tell you my thoughts as I watch it. First we're going to watch it all the way through then I'm going to go in, pause in each individual thing. Let's begin. Nice Black Ops 2 vibe. Okay. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Multiplayer, signature multiplayer, of course. Dang. <laughs> I remember doing that in Black Ops 2. That was so fun. Okay, so, yeah, it seemed, oh, you can pre-register, okay, I'm gonna do that, but, uh, it really does seem like, if you look right there, um, <laughs> we're gonna be getting some zombies and some blackout, and, uh, yeah, blackout, I'm pretty sure that's what they're gonna call it, or battle royale, and that's basically what I said in the PUBG, uh, COD Mobile will kill PUBG Mobile, but, uh, regardless, go back in and rewatch it. But this time I'm gonna turn the volume down because my freaking ears were hurting the entire time. Okay, so let's go. Right here, it looks like, of course, we got that Black Ops 2 vibe, but that was already really confirmed. And here's just a few things I want to talk about. And it's gonna be like basically a little offshoot of or a spin off of my COD Mobile World Club PUBG Mobile because it, all, for all intents and purposes, it, it will. So main reason as they say right here i'm not sure if they're gonna get to it but is there signature multiplayer like right there i didn't get why when he was shooting that guy the guy at the top could have killed him but yeah the signature multiplayer i don't know if you guys have ever played call of duty in this heyday uh, i would say like the last good cod was black ops 2 and that was one of my favorites but basically it was such a nice fluid experience that just playing with the mechanics itself and just playing being on the cod map the cod lobby it was just so it was such a great game it was so such a great place to spend time so just first off you have the nostalgia second off you have the multiplayer which is one of the best in uh, any multiplayer game just the sh shooting mechan mechanics of the fpp for cod mobile like lots of other games you kind of get by with the shooting with uh call, call of duty it's always one of the best parts of the game and if there's like anything wrong with it people kind of go crazy and i mean they kind of earned that right because uh cod had made us spoiled not that they're doing too good of a job now innovating and stuff but just in general let's continue oh i can't wait to snipe on this so we're of course you have the iconic maps and modes which speaks volumes to of course the oh god dang it well yeah but speaks volumes to of course the Let's go back and full screen, which speaks volumes to the nostalgia. Let's continue. The score streaks. More to come. So yeah, that right there basically means zombies and blackout, which I want to actually see. But so looking right here, there's no other game in the Play Store that really came close to remaking COD. I mean, you have... Uh, uh, you have a few games such as, you know, uh, Critical Ops and I forgot the name of the other one. But they, the score streaks and stuff is not the same. Critical Ops doesn't even have score streaks. And the, by the looks of this, it's going to be full decked out, basically a mobile COD in your pocket, which is going to be pretty cool. So this really is something people are going to play regardless if they are mobile fans or not. They're going to want to have Call of Duty in their pocket. I mean, it might make some people mad that they didn't, you know, implement this into an actual console game, but of course, they didn't want that cannibalizing their sales for any other games uh, that because they do yearly releases and stuff. So anyway, the other thing is the reason why I say this is going to kill PUBG Mobile is the fact that it has everything PUBG Mobile has more. The war mode in PUBG Mobile, it's at best OK, and that's really saying at best OK. So, I mean, I can get by with it, you know. I'd rather play Critical Ops and 
than the war mode in PUBG Mobile. I'm just saying. Okay, okay. And then the second thing is the zombies mode. The zombie mode, it was pretty fun. I used it mostly for sniping, but once again, it's for the zombies. Actually, it was it was decent. It was pretty good. But that versus a Call of Duty zombie, there's there's no there's nothing. There's nothing like mm, there. There's no comparison. Even, like there's no game in the Play Store that really does. I mean. There is, I would say, there's a few games that do zombies well, but it's basically pay to play. And I know, I mean, yeah, Call of Duty is going to litter this junk with, and Tencent are going to litter this uh, game with microtransactions, but they're going to at least let you play the game of zombies. Like, I forgot there was another zombie game, first person, and it was fun, but you couldn't even get past, like, to build your weapons and stuff, it, you had to pay. So, I mean, if COD does copy that, it's going to make me really mad but regardless you have the zombies which is amazing on cod no game in the play store really comes closer there's very few and then you have which looks like it's going to be a battle royale mode and even if it has 80 even if it has 50 people are going to be happy because the fps mechanics and just the way cod is the nostalgia and everything people are going to want to play it now i really do like fps mode on pubg mobile but it's one they barely put it into anything there's no fps mode in arcade mode and that's what cod takes care of there's going to be of course the people that you know that like the third person and they're going to still be on PUBG. but for a majority i feel like they're going to either sh really shift over to uh cod mobile and now PUBG mobile is not going to die i mean if anything it's going to become like rules of survival but PUBG mobile is not really going to die it's just going to go on the back burner kind of like how call of duty is right now to fortnite I mean, not that many people are playing Call of Duty. And I feel like that's like the best case scenario. Maybe I'll be wrong and maybe they'll be neck and neck. But for mobile gaming, mobile games die really fast. And I do feel that COD Mobile could be the thing that cannibalizes it. Which is kind of funny because they're both made by Tencent. Well, it's kind of leased out by Tencent. They do it. But yeah, Tencent does do a great job of like, you know, making mobile games and the controls and stuff. Only problem is they're freaking microtransactions for skins. But regardless, it's just skins. Anyway. I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think PUBG Mobile will go on the back burner, like I said, or it will just be killed, or it will still just be neck and neck with Call of Duty Mobile by them doing something miraculous? But as we're looking at PUBG's track record, they really don't, you know, come out with any to anything to a mate. I mean, they only work at the last minute, so maybe uh, Call of Duty lighting a fire under them will make them, you know, do something crazily amazing. Or maybe not. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed. If you do want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you do like my little overlay I recently added, uh, tell me in the comments. And last but not least, I don't know. I was about to say my freaking schools. Um, <laughs> they're like the, whatever my school says in the morning. But yeah, regardless, adios, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments.